Additional corporate funding is provided by ADM. Imagine a system that produces and distributes food and helps improve nutrition and health here and abroad. Who is building such a global network? Pfizer and Chuck E. Cheeses. The Big Comfy Couch is made possible by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. And the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. With major funding from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, committed to building a more just, verdant, and peaceful world. And additional funding from the Park Foundation, dedicated to heightening public awareness of critical issues. Major funding for this program was provided by the Frontline Journalism Fund, with a grant from Hannah Lohr and Jeremy Grantham, on behalf of the Grantham Foundation for the Protection of the Environment and additional support from Scott Nathan and Laura DeBonis. With additional funding from the Colorado Health Foundation and the Commonwealth Fund and the Colorado Trust. Among the usual daily routines for Lynette and Molly, they take naps on their big comfy couch. Usually, when they take their naps, they often have dreams. Dreaming is a normal state of sleep. It is a tense state of emotions and sensations of vivid imagination that can feel like being in a parallel universe from inside the mind. Usually, during the day, Lynette argues with Molly about what she sees underneath the big comfy couch. You keep going on and on about dust bunnies when you know there is no such thing. Is not. Although Molly sees that it is real, Lynette always have doubts about them and thinks it's just Molly's imagination. But on the one time Lynette dreamed, it would be one of the most bizarre things she would ever dreamt about. Molly's imagination sucked into to Lynette's dream. It was about the dust bunnies. She described her dream to a doctor. Dr. Molly. I was in a strange place. Kind of dark. Kind of dusty. I felt like I knew this place somehow. I was lost all alone! Or was I? I thought I heard something. Or some... One. And then I saw... The monsters! Two hairy creatures standing right next to me! But after she told Dr. Molly about the dream, it led her curious as to wonder more about dreams and what is the experience like for her friends. I want to learn everything I can about dreams. They're so amazing. It became a journey for Lynette to find out what dreams are and clues into the daily thoughts of her friends through it. Tell us, Granny, what do clowns dream of? It even involved a twist as she witnessed something bizarre. Have a watch! Major Bedhead is walking in his sleep. And we don't want to wake him up. We have to be very gentle with him. Sleepwalking. As one man's dream turns into intense imagination, clashing with reality. This is the story of the human dream experience and the descriptions of it. And the bizarre tense power of sleep. Doctor, I had this very strange dream last night, and it... Oh, hi there! Well...